Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a quick overview of our solar panel setup. So if you see here, I have already set my solar panels up and uh, this is uh, the one kilowatt system, uh, close to a one kilowatt system. And if you have not checked my previous video out, go check that out. Uh, this time I'm going to show you the wiring sections. So this is what I did here. So each panel have this uh, junction box here. So likewise, uh, three panels has uh, three different junction boxes so what i did was uh, from each of the panels uh, i have connected parallel so for example here if you come this side so this is a uh, mc4 connector parallel connector so i took one wire that's the positive from the first panel to the second panel uh, and i have paralleled it here so both the panels get paralleled here in this section and then this one goes to the other side and uh, from here the these two panels which are these two wires which are parallel from the other two panels gets connected here to this box and from here it gets connected to this y connector and then it goes here so this wire that i have actually used here is a six square mm wire but uh, during the peak production uh, this actually wires gets quite hot so the reason is because uh, during the peak production, you get close to almost uh, 19 amps, 19 to 22 amps uh, here in Chennai. So this wire gets quite hot. So I'm going to double this wire here and uh, then I'll try to change that because summer is coming up and you would have better production. So this is what I did. So all three pa panels are paralleled here and from parallel it goes directly here. So the VOC is almost around uh, 42, 42 volts and each panel produce close to around eight or nine amps. That's what it does. So these two wires that you see at the bottom uh, directly goes inside the flooring and from there it goes inside my house. So let's go to the section where you uh, I have connected it to Gamma Plus. So guys, I have uh, connected uh, the UTL here. So let's look at the uh, wiring section. So if you look at the wiring section, uh, the wire actually comes from my terrace and uh, from there I have put a PVC pipe and then it goes inside this uh, box and I have used DC breakers here. Make sure that you buy DC breakers. This is a 50 amp DC breaker and I think this is uh, almost a 20 amp DC breaker and it goes into it. So this one is for the smaller panel and this one is for the bigger panel and from there I have these two wires which goes from here to uh, UTL Gamma Plus. So I have been used running this UTL Gamma Plus for quite some time and if you look at my battery setup, uh, I have a tubular battery which is an Amaron Tall Tubra and at the bottom you see lithium ion uh, batteries. This is actually a testing so don't try this at home but this is the testing which I am doing and this is paralleled with the batteries and I have configured the UTL Gamma Plus to uh, limit the output of the uh, voltage. So if you see at the bottom here. So guys, this is the uh, sections here. So let's quickly see uh, from the start. So right now, this is the SPV. I'm getting almost 17.7 volt. Right now it's almost six o'clock. That's the reason why the voltage is 17.4. The next section would be the percentage at which the inverter is being utilized, which is a 13 percentage. The next would be the Hertz. And this is the uh, current voltage of the Gamma Plus, which is generating and then the ampere so this is the battery ampere this is zero because it's under the start state and this is the battery voltage which is at 12.5 and then uh, this is again the herd section so this is the voltage so this is the total production of uh, my uh, gamma util plus which is almost 228 units so i have produced close to 228 units which is 228 kilowatt okay and uh, this is this production is almost for like uh, three three months and it was from november and uh, until uh, february which is uh, i mean it, it, it's a mix of winter and now just the summer is starting so i would see a, a big jump here and then the next section would be uh, this is the ampere which is coming from the uh, spv so this is this is what the current uh, setup of my utl gamma plus is I really like this product, but the only problem here is that uh, the the voltage is not that configurable. Even if you configure it in the advanced section, it doesn't work that well. 
Then another thing that I wanted to show you here is that if you go into the, uh, there is an option of uh, configuring your Gamma Plus for advanced. So what you got to do is you have to use the top button as well as uh, this button and you have to hold it for quite some time. If you do that, it would go into the advanced section. So give it a couple of seconds. So right now it's under the advanced section. So this is the first, the first uh, screen is going to be the low voltage cutoff for your battery. So I'm at 10.8. I'm going to cl click on enter. And then the next section would be the high cutoff, which is a 16.5. Doesn't really matter. The next section would be the bulk voltage. I have set it at 14.4. The next would be at float voltage, which is a 13.9 volt. So this one is actually for the uh, SPV. That's for the solar. The next section would be the normal PCU power bulk voltage. I've actually turned off the grid charging, so it doesn't really matter for me. The next one would be the float. And uh, the next one would be the ampere, at which uh, the Gamma Plus can charge. It's at 40 ampere. I have clipped at the maximum. So this one would be the num the maximum ampere that you should use to charge uh, the battery using the grid. And then the frequency. And this is a reconnect voltage and at what voltage should you uh, switch back to mains. I have kept it at 11.7. .7. And another thing is that guys, uh, this particular Gamma Plus doesn't actually uh, work that great when it when you set this low voltage so right now I have set the low voltage at 10.8 however the beeping starts at 11.4 which really doesn't make sense so that's something that uh, they have to correct but apart from that everything seems to be good and if you just need to go back hold this button it will automatically take you back to the previous uh, main page so that's it so you're back to the main page so uh, another thing that I wanted to show you guys is that this Util Gamma Plus hangs sometimes. So I'm not sure what's what's wrong with this, but sometimes the Gamma Plus acts quite weird and the screen gets stuck here and nothing happens. You, you press this, nothing happens. And the only way of doing is to disconnect it from the battery and then reconnect it again. So on a budget, this is quite good. Uh, but if you are going for a full-fledged lithium setup, uh, with an MPPT controller, I would actually suggest you to get a better brand uh, for 8,000 to 9,000 rupees. This is actually quite uh, fine if you are going to use with lead acid. But I would request you to jump to lithium ion phosphate, which is currently on a test phase. So, uh, if you see right now, I'm currently testing uh, this uh, gamma setup for a lithium ion setup. So, quite in, in some time, I will tell you how you could configure your current inverter to work with lithium ion phosphate. Uh, so, stay tuned, guys and uh, thank you so much for watching if you have any questions do leave it in the comment section below and uh, if you have any suggestions do leave it in the comments and thank you so much for watching stay tuned and do subscribe to my channel